This is Twit. Tom's on the line from Warren, Ohio. Our next caller. Hi, Tom. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. We're looking at, and I'm digging into it now. I'm on a Google forum. I'm looking it up, and there's a bunch of other people inquiring about it. The format for a digital image, it's .kqp. You ever hear of that? And I'm trying to get it converted off these old floppies. Was it Kodak? Was it a Kodak Kodak camera? Uh, I've seen some people in the forum say that they had it on Kodak, but this is Konica Picture Show. Yeah, Konica Quality Picture, KQP, yeah. Oh, is that what that was? Yeah, so... I don't know if you have a file converter for, that you could recommend for that i've got geez and i got about a dozen floppies over here i need to get pictures off of well i'm going to point you to a website that's a useful website when this comes up called open with dot org i got pen right here yeah open open with, open with as in what do you open this with open with dot org and you can search for an extension and maybe get some some help figuring out how to open it. I should type in KQP and see see if they have anything for this. Um, the You know, images, yeah, look, they do. Look at that. Images um, generally are, are, even though the file format may be odd, they should be pretty accessible because they're either a plain old bitmap, and if you could find a bitmap within the file, then you can just create an image out of it, or they're compressed, and there are only a few well-known ways for compressing it. Turns out there's a program called XNView, XNView, uh, xnview.com, that can open KQP images, at least according to the website. The good news is uh, it's free. Uh, They have it for Windows, Mac, and Linux. That's good news. xnview.com. And it's a handy thing. Keep that around if you've got old, old floppies. First, you got to get a floppy drive. <laughs> but openwith.org is a very handy little resource for people who have files that they can't figure out how to open. Good luck, Tom. Let me know if it works. And get them off the floppy because any recording media that is, you know, like a floppy, which is reel-to-reel tape, diskettes, you know, what the way they work is you've got a, uh, uh, a, a plastic substrata, mylar often, with iron, some sort of iron oxide on it, and that's how it records. Uh, the heads are magnetic, and they change the the polarity of the iron oxide according to ones and zeros. That stuff flakes off the mylar after 10 years, and it really becomes hard to read. People with old reel-to-reel tapes might notice this. The tapes start flaking. Sometimes they bake them first. Baking sometimes refuses it, but it only does it temporarily. And generally, you only get one chance. You bake them, you you play them back through your reel-to-reel into a computer, and you're done. That tape now will fall apart. So this is is the time. There's a lot of floppies out there that are 10, 20, I suppose even 30 years old. As we mentioned, the IBM PC is 33 years old this week. So there are probably people with floppy disks that are 30 years old and older. Maybe you had a PDP-8 running giant 8-inch floppies. Those are probably gone. Those are probably gone. The irony is that this image on this floppy, this KQP image, you know, a a floppy disk drive, the biggest they got was 1.44 megabytes. It would take, for the images coming out of my high-end digital camera today, 40 floppy disks for one picture. So, uh, (laughs) floppy wasn't really going to last in that (laughs) storage of pictures.